Hey there, thanks for stopping by. Well, my Fidelity brokerage account, and I opened it uh, the last part of April of this year. I'm a new investor. And right here, you can see uh, my cash balance, $14,486. And you can see that positive $428. The market was up today. That means the portfolio was up today, which is a good thing. I'm up 3.05%. And the total value of my account is, you can see there, $17,486. That's because I'm using $3,000 of margin. Now, I've been using margins and basically I opened this account and I took out a personal loan of $6,500. I've had my margin all the way up to about $6,200, but I backed that off. I'm trying to use $3,000 of margin as a baseline. I don't want to get too much in the margin. I guess being a new investor, that's just kind of how my personality is. I want to keep it uh, pretty tight. Maybe in the near future, just go to a pure cash account. And as far as my positions in this small Fidelity account, I just have these five. I've consolidated just a little bit. I got rid of ULTY earlier in this week and I've purchased some QDTE and some XDTE, the weekly dividend pairs. Even though they're a little bit more expensive, uh, something in my brain just clicks. I like getting paid on a weekly basis. so. Now you can see I've got about 41 shares of the Q and 13 shares of the X. And if we look just right here at the stock analysis website, the past couple weeks on the Q, you can see that it's been a, a decent uh, cash amount that's been paid out, 56 cents. And tomorrow we'll be getting paid 51 cents per share. I know it's not, I don't have a lot of shares, but I got to start somewhere. And so I really like this growth and I intend to keep feeding these two as much as I can. But if we take a peek up here, you can see I have plenty of buying power in case something happens or something interests me. I have $15,000 of buying power. And if we look at today's gains and losses, you can see right here, it's nice to see everything all green, at least every once in a while. I think this is the first time this week. Uh, I had a rough July. I think a lot of people had a, a rough July and the dividends, um, you know, they were lower on all the yield max funds. And of course, today was the payday for the three funds that I own. The AMSI, of course, my biggest holding, you can see I got paid out the $347. That was with 733 shares. Kony, $46. They basically paid a dollar a share. And then Amdi, $15. So if you add up all those those three numbers right there, it came to $410. And what I did with that $410 today is I just divided it by two. So $205, I bought more shares of AMSI. So that increased my shares from 733 to 744 shares. And you can see this is the total current value of each of my positions. And then with the other $205, I bought some more QDTE. And you can see I, I have a decent starting value now of $1,700 or the 41 shares. And then I have to ask myself, what am I going to do now? I have this $15,000 of buying power, but I like just using that $3,000 of margin. I'm too new and I don't have enough experience to, to chunk invest into something that I'm just not too sure about. So right now, um, I'm be using the dividends to, to buy more shares of this portfolio. And then I'll be feeding, because I'm a working guy, I'll be feeding this thing maybe a, a couple, uh, two or three hundred dollars a month. So I'm just be thinking, doing my research, what I can pull the trigger on to maybe use some of this margin to make a more of a monthly payment. Now, last month I made in July $582 of a uh, in total dividends of income this month of august if you do include the the qdte and the xdte that should give me about a hundred dollars total with this share count that i have now so i'm estimating for august 500 total dollars or so uh, maybe a little over maybe a little under so 500 dollars for august now for august i was you know thinking I would be making between seven and 800, but because the market was down in July, the dividend payout was less. So it is what it is. 
But I think if we have a, a good August or even a halfway decent August, my September dividend should be somewhere between the seven and eight hundred dollar payout range. So that's something just to look forward to. For now, I'm just going to do some research and figure out what my next big buy will be, if any, to use just a little bit more margin to increase my income. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.